Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Somebody I Loved. Now this song is my new favorite to play on the piano because it sounds so cool and it's actually pretty easy. Now per usual with my tutorials, I will be playing it at the piano but I also will have the sheet music above it. You can be reading the music as we're playing it on the piano. I'm going to be going through this song line by line but if you would like your own copy of the sheet music, you can download it at the link below. Let's get started. So let's do right hand first. The first note, if we use face in the space, is gonna be an E, and we're gonna place finger five on E. Now this is the E that is an octave above middle C. So here's middle C on my piano. It's not this E, it's the E that's an octave above. So finger five is on E, finger one is gonna go on G, okay? And if you notice the pattern, we're just going back and forth between those two notes for the first measure. Second measure, let's read those notes. The first note, if we use every good boy deserves fudge, we find that it's a B. Finger five is gonna go to B. Finger one is gonna go to D. We have a pattern where we're just going back and forth. Okay, next measure, measure number three. We're just gonna step up one step. So now finger five is on C, finger one is on E. We're gonna go back and forth. We're at measure four. Now the easiest note to read there should be middle C, so you can drop your thumb to middle C first, and then the top note is going to be A if we use face in the space. So we're just gonna go A, C. Okay, we have the two repeat dots, which means we just go back and do it again. So here we go, I'm gonna count with it. We're gonna play one and two and three and four and 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 okay that's the first line now let's go to our left hand and let's actually just quickly read these notes before we play them in the first measure we have middle c so i'm going to get middle C set up here with my thumb. Second measure, if we use all cows eat grass for the bass clef spaces, we find that it's a G, so it's gonna be right there. The next measure, measure three, we're just going up one step to A, and then from A, we are skipping down to F. Just our left hand, we have whole notes, so we're gonna hold them for four beats each. We're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and. Okay, now let's put both hands together and this is what it will sound like. One and two and three and four and we move. Two and three and four and move again. on singing along with this song or you have somebody else singing along with you then technically you could just play this first line repeated for the whole song you don't even have to learn the rest of the song what you have to do is just play this first line and just keep repeating it so instead of just repeating it once you just keep playing it through while somebody else sings it all right but if you want to learn how to play the melody part like the part that somebody would sing. That's what we're gonna be going over for the rest of this tutorial. All right, let's move on to line number two. Let's go through and do just our right hand first. You'll notice that your first note there, if you use every good boy deserves fudge, is a G. That's gonna be this G right here. We counted it from C, D, E, F, G. So finger three is gonna be on G there. Now we have an eighth note rest. So the first G is gonna come on the and of one. So we're gonna count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And we're gonna cross over finger number two to D, 
okay? And that's all right hand plays for that second line. So let's try it one more time. We're gonna play one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two, three, four. Like I mentioned earlier, if you need more time reading those notes, make sure you read them first and then play them. Okay, with the left hand, our first note is C again. We're gonna hold it for four beats. And then our next note is G. Hey, guess what? Hopefully you recognize this pattern is from the previous line. We go to A, two, three, four, and then we play C and F together. One, two, three, four. So let's do left hand one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four okay so let's put the right hand with it we're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four then just left hand one and two and three and four in. All right, we're going on to the next line. Let's do just our right hand first, and I think you'll notice that it's very similar to the line that we just did. So right hand is gonna be finger three on G again. We're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Okay, so very similar to what we just did. Left hand, let's just go over it quickly. It's C and two and three, four, and then G, and two, three, four, and then A, two, three, four. Okay, so let's try putting it together. We're gonna play one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four. Okay, so those lines are pretty similar to each other. Let's go on to the next line. Right hand is gonna be starting on A with finger number two. So we are going to find A right beside G. Finger number two goes on A. Now we are gonna look ahead a little bit and notice that finger four is gonna be stretching up to D and then finger five is stretching up to E, okay? So it's a little bit of a stretch. Normally finger four would fall here on the C, but we're stretching it up. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try just our right hand and we're gonna have an eighth note rest. So it's gonna be one and two and three and four and 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 one. Okay, so one thing you wanna notice here are those dotted eighth notes. For example, in measure 13, which is the second measure of this line, when you're up there on the E, you wanna make sure you hold that for one and a half beats. So it's gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? Now let's go and do the left hand. So left hand is gonna be starting on F this time. And if you were curious how I found out that that was an F, it's in the bass clef, it's a line note. A shortcut that we can help to find that note is great big dogs fight animals, so that would be an F. All right, so we're gonna have finger five on F. It was already there from before. We're gonna hold it for four beats, so it's gonna be one and two and three and four. And we're gonna go up to C, two and three and four and down to G, two and three, four, and then just stepping up to A, okay? So just F, C, G, A, all right underneath your fingers. You don't have to move them or stretch them or anything, so it's pretty easy. All right, let's do this together nice and slowly. So I'm gonna play left hand first because it comes in before the A. So this is gonna be one and, okay? So one and. Right hand is 
tied, so we're gonna be holding on to it until the next line. Okay, so from the previous line, our right hand was being held down, so that's gonna be beat one, and then we play again on the and of beat one. Okay, so we're holding down, and we're gonna play one, and two, and three, and four, and 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 notice we have the little tiny tie, which means that we're going to be holding on to it until the next measure. When we have a tied note, it just means that we hold on to it. So instead of playing a note twice, you just hold on to it. Okay, let's try right hand one more time from the beginning of this line. So it's already being held out, so we're going to play one, and two, one and two, three and four, and one and two, and three and four, and one and two, three and four, and hold on to it. All right, left hand is much easier than right hand. Left hand is gonna be starting on F again, so one and two and three, four, and then C, and two and three and four, and then G, two and three, and four, and then an A, two, and three, and four. Okay, so here we go. From the beginning of the line, we're gonna play one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and hold it onto the right hand, okay? Now, for the next line, right hand is already holding on to the D, but what we're gonna do here finger-wise is, notice you're already on the D, the next note that we're gonna play is C, but you'll notice that we have finger number one on C, so we're gonna bring our thumb up so that our thumb can play C, so that finger four can get up to the F later on, okay? So we were just here with finger four on D, we're gonna move up finger one and play and two and three and four and one and two and three, four, one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four. Now you're gonna hold on to that again. Lots of tied notes in this song, okay? So let's try right hand one more time. We're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four okay right hand may seem kind of tricky with the rhythm but if you know this song then I think you'll find the rhythm to be not too hard just think of how it would be sung okay now let's do the left hand so left hand starting on the F hopefully you're getting good at recognizing that F we're gonna hold on to it for four beats so we're gonna play one two and three and Four and okay now I have kind of a big chord here but what you want to do is you want to look for the easiest note first hopefully the easiest note that you recognize there is middle C which is going to be played by your thumb now the next note you should recognize is the G which is played by finger number two and then finally the bottom note there is C played with finger number five so it's a little bit of a big stretch but just remember you have got the C's and then you have the G in the middle. Notice the next measure, the chord is still pretty big, it's still three notes. It should look pretty similar to the chord that we just played only with different notes. So now G is on the top and on the bottom and D is in the middle. Okay, so did you see that pattern? So we went from here down to here, okay? And then after the G, D, and G. Notice that now the top note is gonna be A, and the bottom note is A, and then we have E in the middle. Okay, so we went from F, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, we drop down, and two, and three, and four, we just stepped up, to help you remember these notes, do you remember what we've been playing with the left hand for the whole song? We've just been playing the C, the G, 
the A and the F. Okay, remember that pattern C, G, A, F. When we play these big chords here, we're still doing C, and then G goes to the top and the bottom, and then A, any guess as to where we're gonna go next? So that's going to be on the next line, okay? So just remember that pattern, C, G, A, F, and then we just make it bigger, C, G, A, F, okay? All right, let's try putting this line together, okay? So we remember we started with our right hand with finger number four on D, left hand's going to come in with first, and then right after we play F, then we play C with our thumb, okay? So we're going to play, so we're already playing the D, we're going to play one and two and three and four. Here's our big chord, two and three and four. Here's where we move, and two and three, four, one and two and three and four, okay? And the E gets held out. Let's try that line one more time, okay? Remember we started here, finger four on D. We started with our left hand just on the F. We're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. For the next line, right hand is already up here on this high E holding it out with finger three, it's tied. And then right hand is gonna play on the and of one, so we're gonna count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two, three, Four, and then we get to rest the rest of the time. Okay, now, right hand is gonna look like it has a lot of notes, which it does, but you don't have to move your hands for this part, okay? So notice where my hands are. I'm up here, I'm not at middle C, I'm at the C above middle C. I've got finger one, two, three, four, five. So all I'm playing is C, D, E, F, G, okay? So let's try that again. From the beginning, I'm holding on with E. You're playing one and two and three and four and hold. Now, let's go get left hand. Left hand is gonna be starting on the F chord, remember? So we just did in the line before, we did the C, G, A, now we're to the F, okay? So we're gonna be playing one and two and three and four. Oh, look, guess what? We're gonna do the same pattern again. Back to G and two and three, four and A and two and three and four down to F. Four and okay so now let's try putting this together so we're already on the F remember right hand starts on E but it's being held out from the measure before so we're gonna play this on beat number one left hand comes on beat number one and then this is on the and so it's right after each other so we're holding on to this one and two and three and four move your left hand one and So remember, we started on the E, left hand comes in on beat one, so it's one and two, three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two, three, four. Okay, for the next line, right hand is gonna go back to what it was doing at the beginning. Remember where we were doing the E, G, Switch, switch, okay, but left hand, instead of just playing the singular notes, we're going to play those bigger chords, okay? A, down 
to F. Okay, so let's try it together. We're gonna play one and two, three and four, one, two, three and four, and one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four and. Okay, last line. Right hand's gonna do the same thing that I was just doing, and left hand is gonna go back to the singular notes. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna play one, two, and three, and four. One and two, three and four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three. And on the very last one, you're gonna play A, G, and then your right hand's gonna play C and G. Left hand's gonna go down to the low C, G, C. And the dot with the line on top of it is a fermata, which just means that we hold on to it for as long as we want. Okay, so let's try that line one more time. Hands together. Notice that we're piano, so we're gonna be softer. So it's gonna be one and two, three and four. We're gonna switch. Three and four. 